Welcome to another SEO webinar through Schweiki Media. I'm Alicia Lawrence from WebpageFX, a full-service internet marketing agency in Harrisburg, PA. Today we'll be continuing our interview series with the experts here at WebpageFX, and joining me is Dan Schaefer, a marketing specialist here, who also does WebpageFX's email newsletter. So if you receive that from our site, it's from this guy. Thanks so much for joining us today, Dan. Of course, anytime. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with email marketing, let me give you a few benefits to motivate you to start building your email list today. The first is that it's very cost effective. It has a high ROI, and there's an industry stat that says for every $1 you spend, you get $40 in return. The next is that it helps keep your brand top of mind for the customer and continue to build your relationship and build customer loyalty with your consumers. And lastly, Email marketing allows you to target specific consumers with key messages. But, as everyone in the industry knows, great email marketing starts with a great recipient list. And that's why Dan is here to talk to you today about how to grow your email list. So Dan, to start off, what are some common mistakes that business owners and marketers make when it comes to growing their email list? Well, when it comes to email marketing, you, you need to have subscribers behind that to back you up. If you don't have any subscribers or readers or anything, all your results just won't, won't uh, come through for you. So some big mistakes is just, one, not actively growing your email list if it, if it stays stagnant or if you're not even working to grow one in, in the first place, then uh, that is a huge mistake. If, if maybe you're not ready for email marketing quite yet, but even so, you should still be growing an email list for whatever reason. Even if you send one email a year, you should have uh, an email list that you can come to and, and send something to. Secondly, uh, a lot of people come to us and say, I don't have an email list, but I want to start email marketing like today. Uh, well, you have to grow your email list, but they say, can I buy a list? No, we'd rather you not. It's not the best idea. People, you'll get all kinds of advertisements trying people selling you these uh, these lists of email addresses that they've scraped someplace. Um, generally, they do not appreciate being emailed like that, uh, and you'll see some high bounce rates and high unsubscribe rates from your email marketing efforts. So we don't recommend that as well. Um, as far as those two things go. They're very simple to avoid um, growing an email list in the first place with email marketing in the back of your mind. Should be the number one priority. Now, especially when you send to consumers that didn't sign on to your email list, it could also give them a bad taste in their mouth when it comes to your brand. So you definitely don't want that. But what if they really want to build their list quickly? Do you have a solution for that? There's a few recommendations. Um, if you are willing to pay some money for it, there are ways of doing that. So Twitter provides a uh, specific advertisement that you can place throughout uh, on Twitter and uh, through their newsfeed and things like that, that with a click of a button, they can sign up for a newsletter. Now that requires a lot of paid advertising and things like that. It may not be uh, as cheap as some of those lists you see out there, but it will definitely be more relevant to them and they know that they signed up for it. Um, so that's one if you want to go the paid route. Now if you're going to a lot of trade shows and conferences, definitely bring the materials along to just provide a way that they can sign up for something. Um, whether that's a pad and paper or if you have an iPad that hooks into your email marketing uh, software, that works as well. But uh, one of the biggest ways you can grow an email list is through your own website. Always have a way to sign up for something on your website, whether that be just a sidebar box, uh, footer box, whatever, but a big one that really helps is pop-ups. I know a lot of people don't like pop-ups, but they can be done well in a way that is less intrusive than a lot of the ones that you don't like and see online. Now that our listeners know what not to do, can you give some best practices in email marketing and how to grow your address list? Right, so whenever you present a uh, an offer to someone to sign up for this email list that you have, you want to give them value behind signing up for that. Um, if you literally just say, sign up for our email newsletter, that doesn't really indicate the value that I will get from it. So provide 
of value behind it, give them something, or offer coupons, say, this is what you'll get if you sign up. Uh, if I can get a free guide, a free white paper, or a checklist, or if I get a free, uh, I got, I signed up for something the other day, or I, I got a free appetizer at a restaurant. Something like that has value behind it. I can, I can value that in my head and realize, oh, I'll definitely give them my email address, just for that reason. So, for one, give away something for their email address. Now, again, you want to be clear in what you're communicating to them uh, as far as what they're signing up for. You might give them something that's worth thousands of dollars, but when they sign up and then they realize what they're actually getting in their inbox and they don't appreciate it, they'll quickly unsubscribe. So be clear as far as what is in the newsletter. Um, indicate how often they'll receive it. If you're sending something several times a day, and they don't know that ahead of time, then they're definitely going to unsubscribe um, just because they'll get tired of seeing you in their inbox. Um, also, uh, if the topic is a little different than what you've communicated on your website, that can also raise some concern as far as the reader goes. So also, uh, be clear and give them something that they'll want. And with those two things, uh, generally can, can uh, gather quite a good email list that We'll stick around for a long time. I know I can definitely attest to signing up because of an incentive. I just signed up for a newsletter because I would get free shipping on an item that I wanted. And then they have me as a customer for life because now I'll continue to get those coupons, continue to get all the news about their new releases and new products, and I'll just become hooked. <laughs> exactly. Now, since you are in charge of WebPageFX's email marketing, what are your most successful or unique tactics when it comes to growing your email list? Well, we have several different ways that we gather email addresses on our site. One of them is through marketing guides. We provide all kinds of different guides that are for free, um, but you have to give us some information for them. Generally, they're very informational and they give you a lot of good hints as far as how to grow your company and your business through your website. So, that is number one. That's one thing we do. And that works really well. Uh, another thing that we uh, have is the pop-ups. Um, again, we're, we don't try to just blast your screen with all kinds of different things flashing around everywhere. That typically doesn't make our readers happy. But uh, on a good day, you can expect to get around 3% of your visits uh, to convert into subscribers with pop-ups. Um, so if you're below that, as far as pop-ups go, you can kind of generally uh, assume that you're you're ticking off a lot of other readers that may not enjoy pop-ups. Uh, and another one is the content upgrade. This is a strategy that came out uh, probably a year or two ago where someone had a blog post or a high traffic article or something like that that gets a lot of traffic online and they decided to come up with something that was really uh, supplement the uh, article. So a checklist or another guide or something like that that would go in even into even more detail what the blog post did. Um, and then uh, email gate that as well. So they go through this awesome post, they get to the bottom and they read, oh, free bonus for you, uh, 10 more ways to do what I was talking about before. Um, but you gotta give me your email address. Uh, typically those uh, generate a really high conversion rate for us. And uh, we've been able to generate quite a bit of email addresses for our, our list that way. You can combine all those different things that I mentioned in the one, and we've been able to put content upgrades on our site that are triggered by pop-ups, that offer free guides, and your conversion rates uh, based on the value that you're offering and, and the tactics that you use, they, your conversion rates go up and up and up the more you, the more you test it out. So I enjoy seeing those different things and testing those things out and reporting back to everyone else. Yeah, that's another great thing about email marketing is that it's very easy to report on yes, and is. measure the success of it. Now when it comes to pop-ups, for our viewers who aren't really sure what plugin to use or what program, could you give your suggestion? There are several out there. Um, a lot of them are for free or you can even make your own if you know how to code. But uh, one that we really like to use is Optin Monster, and that's a they have a WordPress plugin, or they work on any other website framework that you have. Um, there's an app online for that, and I think the uh, the pro feature is probably I think that's only like two hundred dollars a year, so less than twenty bucks a month, um, and that's the the top tier that you can get. 
So we recommend that and it allows you to do things like exit intent pop-ups, slide in pop-ups. Um, exit intent is one of the strategies that we like to use as far as pop-ups go in a very uh, a less intrusive way such that uh, when a person is about to leave your website is when the pop-up actually shows rather than after a second of being on the site. Um, so we like to use OptiMonster and it has uh, some reporting features. It shows you what pages they converted on and uh, you can even do A-B testing through uh, the tool as well. So you can test the different headlines on your pop-ups and, and see which converts the best. That's the one we like to use. Uh, if you like to go the free route, there's a few others out there, like uh, Sumo Me offers a few. They won't provide as many uh, features as OptiMonster, but um, it'll get you started if you just want to start growing your email address list. Now, if you want to see these tactics in action, visit our website at webpagefx.com. You can even go to the guides and see those gates, what Dan was talking about, and see how they're collecting emails. Uh, just some few closing remarks. When it comes to email collecting, make sure you're really only asking for the very bare minimum essential information that you need for it. Because if a lot of readers or viewers have to fill out a whole bunch of questions in order to get the newsletter, they'll eventually lose interest and you'll get a lot of bounce from that in non-complete forms. And secondly, you could also make it really easy to share your email newsletter with a lot of the consumer's friends. So, for example, I know a few newsletters that I absolutely love, and I know that a few of my friends or coworkers would love it too. So if you make it easy for me to share, then I automatically got a few more subscribers for you. So definitely make it easy for them. Dan, do you have any closing comments for us? Keep your own email list. You never know when you're going to use it. <laughs> Great advice. And definitely, if you have any questions about email marketing, call our strategy team here at WebPageFX. Thanks.